This is a Fox News alert. Trump becoming the first president ever to get a mug shot after turning himself in at a Georgia County jail on election interference charges. Here to react, former Michigan gubernatorial candidate, Tudor Dixon. Good morning to you, Tudor. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for having me. Well, thanks for coming on. The mug shot's everywhere this morning. He was the first to post it on what used to be Twitter. Now it's X. What is, uh, what's your response, your reaction? You know, I think Jesse Waters said it best last night when he said it elicits an emotional response. When you see this, you just mm -hmm. see our country going into a new dark chapter, and it's, it's very sad. Yeah, it is. And the debate was a few nights ago, and uh, millions of people watched it. Nikki Haley came away with that. All women, I feel like, across America were saying we really liked her answer on abortion. I know this was an issue for you when you ran for governor. And you said no exceptions except for the life of the mother, no abortions. And you feel like that hurt you, right? Oh, absolutely. I was defined by the Democrats way before we could even get there out there and talk about what Gretchen Whitmer had done to the state. No one really understood how important abortion would be in 2022 because no one had run in a post row world. Mm -hmm. So we suddenly got attacked, viciously attacked by the Democrats, and it is a winning message for them. When I saw Nikki Haley and her answer, it was so wonderful. She talked about embracing this as being a personal issue for every man and woman. She talked about the reality of it. You have to have 60 Senate votes. You have to have the majority of the House. She said, folks, this is not something that we can just come out and say we're going to do, but can we all, can't we all agree that we need to ban late-term abortions? Mm -hmm. We need to encourage adoptions. We shouldn't force doctors and nurses to perform abortions. Contraception should be available. She said, we're not going to put any woman in jail or give her the death penalty for having an abortion. It was the perfect response. Mm -hmm. It was the perfect response. I said to her afterward, I wish you could sit down with Republicans across the country and explain that you are unapologetically pro-life, and yet you still understand that we need to c come together. We need that consensus mm -hmm. on this. You know, uh, would it have been would it have been satisfactory if every everyone on that stage had just said, let's make it a state issue? Or do you really want to hear how they, what their thoughts are, how, what their beliefs really are? I'm, I think it's important for people to be able to say, look, this is what it is for me personally, yeah. but I want the American people to choose. I want the American people to decide, and I want us to come together yeah. because that's what this country is about. Right. Tudor, what happens to the Republican Party if they don't change their message on this, if they don't adopt more of the Nikki Haley version? We had $50 million in attack ads, abortion attack ads spent against us in the state of Michigan. Let me tell you, you cannot defeat that. You cannot come back from that. And Nikki Haley said great things about coming together for moms, coming together for families, making sure that we save as many babies as possible by creating policies that are good for families and young mothers. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to focus on. Yep. That is absolutely the message. And uh, Mastriano lost his election, too, and many said it was the same reason. And many said that they felt like Dr. Oz lost because of that. Republicans were upset because he said across the board, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, no abortions at all. Yes. Uh, that's right. what that's my understanding. Yes. Okay. And, and I'm telling you, it, it's just not a winning message. And, and to Nikki Haley's point, if you don't win in 24, you can't get to the border. You can't get to government corruption. You can't get to national security. You've got to win in 24 to make sure that you can protect the country from everything else. You're right. Thank you so much for coming on with us. Thank you.